Right, okay, hello, good morning and welcome to Phil's workshop. Right, what have we got today? Well, we've now finished the trolley um, for the um, plane of thickness. Uh, but I haven't yet got the actual thing out to do. But what I'm going to talk about today is please excuse me for moving is 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 um, this little tool up here now i put in those of you that know me on me um one of the others <laughs> i can't remember of it i've already put some pictures up of it and this is it the Wolfcraft uh, Dowel Master. Now, I have got one which I had some time ago. I've not used the one that I've got, to be quite honest with you. It's all right, I'm looking to see where I put it. I can't even remember where I've put the damn thing. And it cost about as much as what this did. So, why have I bought another one, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. I was watching a video on it and I thought to myself it's damn simple not only can you use it for cutting what they're doing end to end i.e. if I get two pieces of wood oh excuse me doing that sort of a that sort of a joint or that sort of a joint. Not only can you use it also for putting shelves in at various heights, but you can also do it for doing edge to edge. And it's the edge to edge that I was fascinated with. Um, because I bought some um, dowel uh, markers whereby once you'd actually drilled your dowels you put these silver little dimples in and you just tapped your wood and it weighed the mark made the mark where it was but if you've got multiples of these that means you've got to have two or three of these kits which i wasn't willing to actually spend the money on plus i thought that hmm, is it worth it but I saw this and it's so it was so simple to use. But not only that, right now I also bought depth collars. Now these are the ones that people be that people will know whereby you've got um I don't know whether you can see that or not, you've got an Allen key in the middle of it. Now, these are okay if you're working on a shank like that. That's fine. They work perfect. But when you're working on, on a normal drill, you've either got to try and get in between the helix or you've got to try and get on the edge of it. Now... <laughs> Try as you might, I've tried with these many times, and I can get them level. They go way off. Now, while I was buying that, and another thing that, that came up with them was, again, some depth stops uh, for, for the use of, uh, again, this machine. But also for if you wanted them on their own. And them room. And they are so damned simple. Now, if I take another one out of the bag, as you see, I've, I've not made anything for this yet. Right. That's one of them. And as you can see, 
you undo the side of it now what I will do is I'll take this apart completely and then you can see Allen screw nut and there's the thing itself all open and as you can see what it does it actually if I can get that drill out again is it you can see on that one where it is that actually goes around it like so so you're not actually fastening on there you're actually fastening above it from the from from the from the side of it from there as you can see that is that is above it so when you actually get that on what you end up with if i put that down is that and that is a perfectly flat area now i know richard uh, carly skip in our group he, he was he, he was on about them as to whether they're not they're any good are you still, you're talking. i'm a talking dear <laughs> i thought that was good lady folks she's she's outside doing some bits and bobs and wondering what i'm doing in here at the same time um yeah the, the, these are absolutely fabulous and they are level so when you actually go to the wood you are level with the wood not at one side not at one edge but level yeah and if i can place that in there as you can see hopefully if i've got that right yeah i think i've got that bit right you can actually see that that's level all the way round so collars depth stops again wolfcraft absolutely fantastic can highly recommend them i've used all sorts of things uh, bits of tape round um, actually <laughs> making various depth of collars um, is one of the things I used to have when I was when I was doing my job when I was actually working. Um, I'm glad you said the word, but <laughs> I I don't use. <laughs> it's all right. The wife's making comments while I'm trying to do a, a serious video on this stuff. Um, <laughs> so of course, like um, yeah, again, fantastic piece of kit. I can recommend them um, if you need something like that give it a serious looking folks because um, they are well worth the money they're about 10 quid for a set of three something like that you might find them cheaper I mean I had them from Amazon and I can't remember if they were 10 quid or 6 quid something like that um, I'm thinking about getting some more later on I probably will do then what you can do then is you can have a couple of drills of the same size set up at different depths right going back to this one this little piece of kit now as you can see it'll do eight ten and six uh, the It'll also do up to, I don't know what thickness it'll do up to, I think probably around about, around about 40 mil I think, as its maximum depth, because you've got to leave enough for, for twisting. So I think 40 mil might be a little bit more. You've got some diagrams on this bit, which comes off which will act as a depth stop and we'll, we'll get to that in a moment and that's for when you're actually um, doing the so far up um, 
on a piece of wood. Oop, there we go. And what you would, what you actually do, and I would have thought people have probably seen a, the Wolfcraft do the video on these, so I'm not going to go anything different than them. Um, you would do it, I think, 40 millimeter, I think it is from there. Put a line up, and then you have a scribed line there, and one on the other side. Line that up. Now, what happens is you've already got your dowels in there, and depending on which one it is, six, eight, or ten, you actually push that over the dowel. Once you push it over the dowel, depending on where it is, you drill in the, the um, compatible hole, which is directly opposite where the um, dowel is that you put it over. <laughs> what could be simpler? So same as that, that's the 8mm there on that side, and down there you drill. Bang on. So for every one that you've got, you just go over your over your dowel, drill your hole. What could be more simply? And then when you've done it, it all lines up. So why did I actually get it right? Well, a friend of mine, he's 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 doing a little job for one of his uh, children, but he hasn't got the equipment so I said well I've been thinking about buying some equipment so I'll get it and do it